KMJ Inspires is in association with K Squared Media. Meet Patience Anya Jijoli. She is 21 and had completed West African Senior High School. Patience's dream is to become a journalist, but due to circumstances beyond her control, her dream is almost sinking. Patience is currently a shop attendant at Pantaya Bokobi and hopes to raise some money to pursue her dream. KMJ inspires visited patients to listen to her story and most importantly bring back her dream of becoming the journalist that she has always dreamt of i believe having a dream is one thing believing in it is another achieving it is what makes the big difference kmj inspires is here to meet young and talented people who have dreams and are ready to make it happen on this episode of KMJ Inspires, I have a very young and talented lady whose dreams are very, very simple but very big. Being a journalist is what she seeks to achieve. Her name is Patience. I met Patience on Instagram during one of my IG Instagram, if you like, sessions, live sessions. And uh, she told me about her dreams and how much she wants to be a journalist. So I decided to connect with her, coach her, talk to her a few times. And uh, we're here to see what she's been up to over the years. Here is Paraku Estate where she lives. My team and I are here to find out what exactly Patience wants to achieve with being a journalist and see how best we can help her make that dream a reality. It could be you, but at this moment, it's Patience. Come with me. Here, inside uh, the shop where Patience uh, sells, and uh, this is a lady who has dreams of becoming a journalist. But before the career happens and becomes a reality. So let's see what patience is up her sleeves right here on KMJ Inspires. On this episode of KMJ Inspires, I'm here with a very young lady, very talented and uh, with a lot of dreams. Uh, we're here to find out what we can do and what she can also do to make sure her dreams become a reality. Her name is Patience. And so um, let's, let's meet Patience. Patience, how are you doing? I'm good. And uh, now it's studies and working in the house and everything going to? Everything is well. Everything is well. Alright, so if I ask who is Patience, what, what are you going to say? Okay, Patience mm. is a girl of 21 years old. She completed SHS in 2018. And, and her dream is to become a journalist. So she's trying her possible best just to pursue that dream. How many years have you thought about being a journalist? Oh. I had wanted to become a journalist since when I was three years old. Okay. I love to see people on TV and I have the passion for it, so I just want to pursue you, you that. You like to talk plenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do talk a lot. I talk a lot. Mm, I'm sure you have people that you look up to, you know, sometimes when you see them, you're like, I want to be like this person. Oh, yeah. I look up to Nana Banamwa, mm -hmm. she's my role model since childhood. I always want to be like her. And um, I watch you, KMJ, I watch Cookie, mm -hmm. I watch Regina, a lot of them. I, I just want to learn more, so I just watch people just to inspire myself. Yeah. I see. Let me find out, how bad do you need this dream of yours? How bad? I <laughs> like just to any point, even when it doesn't come now, mm -hmm. when it's going to come in the next years to come, I still want to pursue this dream. Mm -hmm. It's just a dream. I really want it. My passion for it should even come. Mm -hmm. Like today, I'm ready for it. Is it being on TV or behind behind the TV? Which one? Or both? Both. Okay. Yeah. So you're, both. you're the game player. You can be anywhere you want. Anywhere, people. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what have you been doing to make sure that it becomes a reality yourself? Um, for now, I'm trying my possible best to go to school. Um, due to some one or two reasons, I have to hold on. Mm. Yeah, so for now, I have to work. Yeah, to support myself whilst I'm home. But I'm sure in some few time I'll go to school. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm I'm sure you hear about a lot of things about the media, about people who are involved in the media. 
idea. Mm -hmm. It has its own challenges. I don't know whether you know that, that aspect as well. I'll share mine with you, but sometimes what are some of the things that you hear when you say somebody is a journalist, is a presenter, uh, some of the challenges? What are some of the things that you hear? I look up to the positive side of okay. the person. Okay. I don't listen to the negative side mm -hmm. because I know I want to be there one day, so I don't um, judge people by the negative side. I always want to see the positive side of them because everyone has a negative side. Mm. But if you look up to the positive side, whatever you want to achieve, you get there. I think the positive side is the uh, most important thing that you need to look for. Mm. Um, personally, I would also want you to know that the field that you want to be in is not a field that it's easy to be in. Um, sometimes a lot of people think that it's easy, looking at it from where they sit. Um, they think that, okay, being on TV is just going to sit on TV and talk, 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 talk. And so everybody is like, okay, it's, a, it's something we can all do. But the reality on the ground is that it's not as easy as a lot of people think that it is. And this is from me to you, for you to know what you're about to get yourself into. Every single person that has been able to achieve success with the media or becoming a journalist or a presenter has gone through a lot. And there are a lot of challenges that will be there waiting for you. This is not something you can run away from. The only way you can run away from them is doing the shortcut. And the shortcuts do not really get you to where you want to get to. And that's the most important thing. You're going to have the backlash from your own family. You're going to have the backlash from your friends, your colleagues. Um, even your crew, when you're on set with them, there's going to be a lot of backlash. And sometimes some of these things are there to strengthen you, you know, because it's, it's easier for you when you see the bigger picture yeah. than seeing it from the other side when you think it's so easy, you understand? Yeah. And so um, it's achievable. Every dream that you set for yourself, you can achieve it. But one thing that you should know is that the challenges that people talk about will forever be there. Even when you have become who you want to become. Mm -hmm. I mean, the likes of the Nanaba and all the people you're mentioning, you know, are people yeah. who day in and day out go through troubles. Sure. Like there's something coming on them. There's this, there's that, there's that, there's that. And even in the office, your bosses and all of those things will definitely come. But at the end of the day, if you are not looking at it from that side, then it means that positively you believe in your dreams and you know where you want to get into. So let's, let's lay the foundation and let it be clear that whether you like it or not, it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be as easy as probably you see it or the people have made you to see it. And secondly, you need to be careful what exactly you want to achieve with them. It's, you're just looking for fame, you'll get it. There's so many ways you can do to get the fame when eventually people get to know you. I mean, there are other shortcuts that you can do, but they won't last. That's one thing you should also know. It's, it's, if it is for the fame, I mean, trust me, once you're able to establish yourself and you get some two eyeballs, just do something crazy. Canyons will give you the fame you want, but it will not last. And secondly, you would know that it takes a lot to be who you want to be in terms of your knowledge base. Um, people will see being on TV, I mean, the ordinary person will see being on TV as somebody who knows everything in the world. I mean, that's how it is perceived, but that's how it's supposed to be. The moment you stand in front of people and you start talking to them, it is believed that every single thing under the sun you know. And so, if you don't even know to 100%, you must cut the 90% of it. So that it means that whatever you are doing, you are only adding up a bit towards from the 90%. So when you are there, you are always expanding your knowledge base. So people will get to hear from you, they get to talk to you. That's my advice for you, um, and what you see and what the reality looks like. Are you sure you're still ready? I'm still ready. <laughs> I know. You have an intention about the idea. How is that going to be like working next to Nana? How is that going to be like for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very happy because I really want to know her and learn a lot from her. Mm. So I know if I get um, a chance to work with her, then I'm going to learn. Nana is tall for. I know she's very strong. You, you should, she's like that. Do it, do it, do it, do it, right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Like, I'm ready for it. I'm just ready. If she says do it like this, and I know I'm supposed to do it just to get there, then I'm going to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in that regard, we're going to we're gonna talk to Nanaba. Mm -hmm. So um, you need to start thinking about uh, <laughs> <laughs> thinking about an internship with EIB. And that's something that we're going to make it happen, right? Mm -hmm. In addition to the internship with EIB mm -hmm. and close to Nanaba, this is what we want to give to you. One of my frames that I love this frame very much. It's very dear to my heart. So <laughs> this is yours. Thank you. And then we have KMJ Inspires t-shirt also for you. Alright, so you can pull this one to all you know. I want to say a big thank you. 
um, to you at first because I wasn't expecting this, but you kept on um, coming to my DM and encouraging me that I can do it. And here lies the case, you are here with me today. And to the extent that I have to go and have an internship at GH1, and Nanaba is there. I want to say a big thank you to Nanaba also. Like, she has been a great woman, she has been inspiring us, and everything that she says, like, we are trying our possible best, and you are going to be like her. So, I'm very grateful. All right, so people, <laughs> this is KMG Inspires. One thing that I always say is that um, nobody promises anybody uh, an easy road. It's not always like the way you say it, the picture is bigger than what you said. And so, wherever you are, whatever dream that you have, keep working at it. You're definitely going to get there. That's if you're not giving up. In the next episode of KMG Inspires, we will bring you Patience's journey into her dream profession. KMG Inspires is in association with K-Squared Media.